here we are. I don't know if this is the Bokeas Formation limestone or what. It's Cretaceous, but either way, this is how this is a great example of how chert is formed. You can see it's just formed in nodules, formed as nodules in voids in the limestone. Remember, limestone is originally deposited in shallow oceans. At least this was, uh, judging from how fossiliferous it is, uh, just over the hill right over there, uh, is a calcareous mud that then lithifies and then. Uh, once that ocean recedes and it's uh, you know actually becomes the limestone becomes a rock, uh, it, it reacts with acidic rainwater, which moves through it, creates little voids in it as it slowly dissolves the limestone. And you can see ev evidence of dissolution and weathering right there. Remember, uh, acidic rainwater, or rather, rainwater is somewhat acidic. Uh, you know, it's got that uh, due to that carbon dioxide content that it gets in the atmosphere, creates these little voids. Uh, and then uh, the voids later fill with more rainwater, which uh, precipitates silica, probably from, I would guess, volcanic eruptions or uh, maybe from other rocks above it and uh, overlying layers, perhaps when this was buried, however many millions of years ago. This is a very long process, but uh, what you end up with is these little voids in the limestone that uh, later get filled with uh, silica. And that's what this chert is. It's got a conchoidal fracture. It's got a smooth texture. And once that limestone further weathers and uh, that chert falls out of it then you get little chert nodules everywhere and this is a common thing you see in west texas you get little nodules this this brown kind of yellowish chert why does it tend to be brown and yellowish or maybe a little bit orangish i i, I don't know but either way it was uh, you know a large component of uh, the tools that were made by people who lived here for tens of thousands of years whether it was scraper tools to scrape hides or if it was uh, something like a arrowhead you know if you get an exceptionally sharp piece Okay, but you can always find these little chert. Like this wasn't obviously wasn't worked, but you'll find the flakes often, and you'll find a bunch of them, you know, in little little tool shop where someone was sitting there for God knows how long, uh, chipping tools out of at chert exposures, and it's a thing you'll uh, come up on in uh, archaeological sites. But this is where they were getting the chert. This is how it's formed. Great illustration right there. That's all I got. Go fuck yourself. Seeing quite a bit, huh? Oh yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, so pretty robust population. Curtis is saying it's a robust population. Uh huh. Oh wow! Look at this guy. Looks like the main stem died and it formed offsets. I should put a little. I should put a little rock on top of that just to protect them. Just a little bit. Looks a little stressed out. Oh yeah, the little guys right here. Quite a few, huh? This guy's in here. Oh yeah, that's a healthy population right there. Yeah, this guy's getting a little fried. He could probably use a wreck on the side of him or something. There's a nice, some nice old grandpas. Holy shit. Yeah, this, okay, this is more akin to what we were seeing on the other hills. This is nice. Look at these shirts. I love it. Boom. Boom. Really? Yeah, there's some big nibbles. Probably those damn oddads, man. No, they're tiny little chunks. Surprised they could see them. 